Hey guys, Luke here. I'm here to preview round three of the 2015 NRL season. This is my third attempt at doing this, so I should be spot on with this one. But this is going to be Monday Night Football. The Roosters are taking on the Penrith Panthers. So Roosters are home side. Let's start off with them. So we've got Tuvasa Shek, Daniel Tupo, Michael Jennings, Ferguson, Kenny Dow, Maloney, Pierce, Maria Hargreaves, who's just re-signed with them, I believe. And we've got McKeurick, Moa, Cordner, Guerra, Lou, and the mentions Mitchell Orbison, Napa, Evans, Takahio, Manu, and Kennedy. Panthers. Actually, they've got a really big omission in their side, so interesting to see how they go. But their lineup is Moylan, Mansour, Farai, Idris, Wateen, Zelezniak, or Zelezniak, something like that. Uh, then we've got John, Wallace, McKendry, Seguiaro, Kite, Manu, Brown, Taylor, and the bench is Peachy, Lattimore, Campbell, Gallard, and Cartwright. Now, I'm just going to start out by saying I think Roosters are going to win this one, and I am expecting them to win this one pretty comfortably. Now, I just before I want to say this, I just want to point out I don't hate Panthers, and I don't know if it might come off as me hating Panthers, but just addressing that at the start. Um, but Roosters, in the previous week, uh, they took on the Rabbitohs. Obviously, didn't win, but I think they showed enough to me. They showed enough to say that they're going to be some major contenders this year. Uh, just how I thought they were. I saw some people thinking they were going to drop off. Now, I know Sunny Bill is a big loss, but at the same time, it sort of maybe there was a little bit too much spotlight on Sunny Bill last year. He didn't play that great, and they still still won the minor premiership with him not carrying. I'd say the year they won it, I think he definitely carried, but last year, I don't think he did. And they sort of gotten better, in my opinion. Um, Jenny, uh, sorry, Ferguson coming in. Um, Kenny Dow back on the wing. Uh, although Kenny Dow did butcher a try last week. I think overall, just a better better back line, especially with Minicello. Didn't really offer too much in attack last year, and they're sort of swapping and changing as well. Two of us to shake, so now he can just stay in that fullback role rather than having to go from wing to fullback to wing and all that sort of stuff. Um, Panthers, on the other hand, that you know they were very good against the Titans. Um, the Titans were okay, but at the same time, this is the Titans missing the Greg Burrs, missing all those players. So you know you expect them to sort of win by that sort of margin. It's almost a buy, really. Uh, no offense to the Titans. Well, I suppose there is a little bit of offense there, but... Um, and then their performance against the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs were so far off their game for, like, 70 minutes, and they still ended up nearly winning. So, I don't know. I think Panthers just got to concentrate a lot more. And I do think the loss of Jamie Soward, I just think it's going to be something... It's just going to be too much for them. I can understand, like, if Peter Wallace drops out and I say John comes in, I like, it doesn't really change too much for me. But Jamie Soward being the one dropping out with Isaac John coming in, and I do like Isaac John. I really do think he's a good player. I just I just don't think it's enough. I think Sauer just does too much. Does too much of the organising. Does too much kicking. Like he's a goal kicker. He does, he does everything for them. He is he is Penrith. He is their man. Um, and if you know if you ever see Sauer play bad games, you know they don't really win too often. So you saw last year he had he had a great form. And also I think Sauer being out, uh, I think it should directly affect Moylan. Should affect Segio, all those sort of ones, who now have a lot more. Um, pressure put on them because you know they haven't got the main guy there calling the shots. Now I know Peter Wallace is you know he's a halfback. He's been played a lot of games, but he's always seen, he's sort of been the second field guy. And we, when we've seen him be the main man, hasn't really worked out. We saw him with Lockyer worked well. Him with Scott Prince, like an old Scott Prince, not so much. Him with like you know Corey Norman didn't work out that well. So him with Isaac John should be interesting to see how they go. Obviously, Moylan has to step up. He does a lot of ball playing normally, but he's probably going to have to step up and do even more, probably even some more kicks and play. I don't, I don't know, but could be just talking out of my ass there, but I think he's going to have to do a little bit more. Uh, a little bit disappointing is not see George Jennings taking on Michael Jennings. George not inside, Mansour coming back in. Uh, obviously, Mansour, when he was fit, he's always going to come back in, but it's just disappointing that we didn't get to see that. I do think George has been really good, though. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, last minute it's Lesniak gets pulled from the side and George is in there or something like that because I think, you know, George was really good. He definitely didn't look out of place or anything. He, you know, he might not even be better than Mansell. Who knows? Um, but in terms of where I think this game's going to be won, I, I just think Roosters are sort of too strong everywhere. But at the same time, I sort of think that every week about the Panthers with so many sides, they don't, on paper, they don't look as good as a lot of sides and they tend to compete slash beat the sides. So, um, they're a hard team to read because they haven't really got any star players but at the same time they just work so well as a team although I don't really buy the hype that they get but that's, that's a whole different story um, I think the halves will be definitely where it's one but at the same time I think the four pack just be too strong and the backs just a little bit too quick and that sort of stuff although 
Bar 8 is a great defender. Idris, I'm not, not really sure on. He's very hot and cold. I'm not sure who he's up against. If it's Jennings or um, Ferguson. But I can really see them just going all over them. Um, but that's where the video is going to end. I'm going to say... Sorry, I should predi make a prediction. I'm going to say Roosters 13+. plus. I just think Panthers will lack a little bit in attack. And I think Roosters will still be on fire. Like they were great in attack last week. It was defence where they let them down. Um... But yeah, that's where the video is going to end. I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Hopefully I'm not talking about my ass and predictions are sort of somewhere, somewhat correct, hopefully. That's all the predictions I'm talking about. And if there's any um, team changes and that sort of stuff, this is because I'm recording it on a Tuesday night. So uh, if it's somehow Jamie Seard like, just turns up and plays something, you know, that's the reason why um, I did mention it in this video. Uh, but yeah, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel. It's very much appreciated. Um, if you leave a comment in the description below, I'll make sure I'll get back to it. And, you know, if I disagree with, like, for example, if you're a Panther supporter, and this isn't just picking on Panther supporters, this is like all them, like all the supporters. If, if I say something bad about your favorite player or if I go, if I pick against your side, you know, this not personal. It's not, it's not like I hate your side. It's just trying to pick who's going to win. It's like a tipping thing. If You know, I'm just doing my tips pretty much, but just putting them in video format. Um... But yeah, subscribe to my channel, like the video. If you want to follow me on Twitter, at MrLuke on YT is my Twitter handle. I've got a Facebook page in the description below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for next week's video. If, and also go check out my like Rugby League Live 2 stuff and my Titans Rugby League Manager Crew Mode thing. So I'll see you for the next video, guys. Bye!